Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. What I'd like to talk to you about today is um, Ubuntu Server 22.04. In the first few videos we went over how to install Ubuntu and then we went over how to uh, navigate through it and and do a little bit of maintenance. And now in this video what I'd like to talk about is how to log into it remotely and do some further nav navigation. So let's begin. I am currently on my um, my regular laptop, and what we're going to do, as I said, we're going to work. We're going to go over how to uh, remotely log into our server. And so, all you got to do is just bring up your command line. Um, here is mine. I have a. Uh, I'm working off of a uh, Linux Mint. And so I just open up my command line. You can do it either one of several ways. You can just go down to the menu and look for your command, line, your terminal there, or on your keyboard you could just press the Control Alt and T as in Tango, all three at the same time. That should bring up a terminal for you. And then what you want to do is you want to type in this command for you, for yourself. You want to type in SSH, and then as you can see where it says MXWIL, that's the user of the of the server you're trying to log in at. And then at, and then the IP address. That is the IP address of the server we're trying to log into. And this is my first time logging into it, so it's gonna um it's gonna ask a few other questions that it normally doesn't ask. So let's just go ahead and press enter from here. And as I said, just because this, this is my first time logging in through SSH, it's going to ask this question. Um, are you sure you want to continue connecting? YES for yes, press enter. Then it's going to ask you for the password for that user. You just go ahead and put in that password. And then you press enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, you've got the message of the day after you log in. This is always going to happen. You're going to always see the message of the day when you log in the first time. And so we are logged in remotely to our uh, Apache server. So let's just go ahead and clear the screen. If we do a control L on our keyboard, that will go ahead and clear the screen. Or you can just type in clear and press enter. That will clear the screen as well. Okay. Now, um, let's go over a few other things here. Uh, first of all, let's go over some tools that come um, uh, by default on your uh, Linux uh, Ubuntu server 22.04. Um, one of the tools that comes is a um, is a multiplexer. It's called Tmux. Okay, and what you use Tmux for, or what I use it for, is for splitting the screen when I work on when I want to work on two two things at one time um, but I only have one screen to do it on and then I need to split it so a good tool that comes uh, by default with um, with Ubuntu server is called Tmux so to go ahead and uh, activate and open that up you just go ahead and type in the word Tmux you press enter and if you look down at the bottom of your screen here you'll see a green this green highlight right here that tells you that uh, Tmux is activated or at least that's what I use to activate it now there are several ways of splitting the screen uh, the first way I'm going to show you is, is that it's going to go uh, this way which is going to be vertical it's going to split it in half and on your keyboard what you need to do is you need to press let's see control B and then shift and then double quotes I'm sorry that's not that wasn't it oops that's uh the horizontal one I meant to show you that one but not not the not at the first anyway that's how you spl split the screen that way and to get out of it you can just go ahead and type in exit and that disappears and now to split it the other way you do a control B and then the shift and then percentage that's the one I wanted to show you to begin with 
uh, splitting it in half like that. And then to switch between screens, you could do, uh, let's see, Control B and then the arrow key to go to the other side. And then if you want to go back to the other side, you do a Control B and then hit the arrow key again. All right. And it's the same way for uh, the horizontal one. Let's go ahead and exit out of this one. And then you just do a Control B, Shift, double quotes. All right. And then you can sp split the screen that way. All right. And then if you want to go to the top screen, you just hit Control B and then the up arrow. And then if you want to switch to the bottom screen, it's just Control B and then the bottom arrow. And for each for each screen, you can just go ahead and uh, run your individual commands, All right? CD space. Let's see. Let's go to the root folder, All right? And then you can go back up to the top. You just press Control B and then up arrow, and you can you can just. This is a good. This is a good tool for when you want to uh, do multiple things on the um, on the server at the same time. Say, like, if I want to do an update here, right? Then I just run the command sudo apt update, and then press put in your password when you press enter. All right, and after that, you press enter. And then while it's doing this update, you can just do a control B and then hit the down arrow. And while you're waiting on your update, you can just go ahead and just do whatever you need to do right here. Of course, my um, all of my packages have been updated, so uh, I'm good with that. But I was just showing you an example. And so that's what you can use Tmux for. And then when you want to get out of Tmux altogether, you want to close all your screens. So you just type in exit, that closes that screen, and then you type in exit to get out of this one. All right, and then just to make sure the Tmux is uh, not running anywhere else, you, you can type in a Tmux space and then an L, and that will tell you whether or not there's any other Tmux se sessions running. All right, that's a handy little tool that you might want to do. Uh, another uh, thing that you might want to do, and uh, I mentioned this in the last or previous video, is um, if you want to uh, uh, sign in to the root account so that you don't have to always type in sudo and then your command, um, you could go ahead and just log into your root account. I went over how to uh, set up the password in the previous video, uh, but for us, all we're going to do is just log into it. We're going to type, type in the, um, the command su for super user and then hit the minus uh, the minus cap for uh, special special privileges and then press enter. And then we're just going to put in our password, PA. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, let's try it once more. There we go. Now let's clear the screen. And the way you clear the screen, as I've said before, is you can choose the uh, control button and the L button. L is in light on your keyboard. And that, that clears the screen. And now, just to make sure that you are logged in under the root account, you can type in the, word, the uh, command who am I. And that tells you that you are logged in as root. Uh, if you also want to see the root uh, information, um, you know, as far as what group you are and all that stuff, you can just type in ID and then press enter. And that as well tells you right here, your user ID is root, your group ID is root, and then all that jazz. Okay. And so... Uh, there are times when you're going to want to go ahead and uh, log in as root when you want when you know that a lot of times you're going to need to uh, do some things that require root privileges, right? Um, 
say for instance you wanna you wanna do something like you wanna uh, look at some look at some files and and configure some files most of your files are going to be or most of your uh, configuration files are going to be in an Etsy folder uh, so the first thing we want to do is figure out what folder or what path we are in now so if you type in the PWD command P standing for path working directory or, or present working directory and then you press enter and it tells us that right now we are in the root directory and so what we want to do is get into the root folder, the overall folder for the whole system. And the way we do that is we type in CD, which stands for change directory, hit space button, and then we want to hit the forward slash. That's the, uh, that's the top level of the uh, root um, folder for, for the whole system. And then you press enter. And then we do an LS. And as you can see, this is the root folder. And then what you want to do is you can come to the Etsy folder. You do you get that way by running the command CD space ET. And then you can hit the tab button. You don't have to type out everything uh, all the way. And it'll complete it for you. Now, for a little three-letter word like Etsy, you're not, it's not going to make a difference. But uh, let's use, for example right here where it says lost and found you know that's a pretty long that's a pretty long name for a folder if you just go ahead and type in the first three letters LOS and then on your keyboard you press the the tab button that should complete it out for you and then you just press enter now we shouldn't have anything in the lost folder we don't alright now to get back to your previous folder, you want to type in the command cd space and then dot dot. That'll take you to the previous folder you were in before. And there we go. All right. So, you know, you do all the things that you want to do when you're in the root folder. And then when you're done, let's go ahead and clear the screen. If you want to go back to your regular user, you just go ahead and type exit. And that'll take you out of the root account and back to your normal regular account. Okay, so now we're back in as uh, my regular user account. And to figure, just to make sure, you can write that command again or type that command, who am I? It shows who you are. Then you can do the ID just to make sure. These show all of your credentials. All right. And then you can go ahead and clear the screen. All right. So those are a few commands that we learned. The ls command, the cd command. And uh, let me see here. Hold on a minute. Let's do a pwd path to working directory. OK. So let's go ahead and um, create a, di a, a directory, right? Uh, so to create a directory, you want to use this command. That's going to be M K and then D I R. It is uh, M M make directory space and then you just give it a directory name. Let's call this one Docs. If you want to do multiple ones, you could just do that one and then you can hit space and then you can do picks space. Make how, however many you want. That's the command to make directories. And then that's the way you make multiple directories. And then you press enter. Now, to see all of your directories, you just do a ls for list. And you can see we got three directories. Now, if you want to look at the long form and see who owns those directories or who created them, you can just do an ls space minus ll and that will give us the command and as you can see we have three directories here we already knew that because we just made them right and this tells you who owns them right here I own them I should own them I just created them alright so let's go ahead and clear the screen 
And now, we've made our three directories. Let's go ahead and move into one. So let's go into the docs directory. Very simple. We just run the same command, cd space doc, and then hit uh, tab to enter, and then press enter. Now we are in the docs folder. Now to get out of the docs folder, you can just hit cd space dot dot, press enter. Now you are back out of that folder, and then you can move into the other, one of the other folders, right? Don't forget to hit the tab. You don't have to type it in. Type in the um, the command all the way. Just the first three letters will usually do it, and then you just hit tab, and it'll complete it out for you. All right. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. You have no folders in here. You have no files in here. To make a file, it's going to be very simple. You just use the touch command. Touch, and then you can just create your file name. You can call it whatever you want. You can use whatever extension you want. Right? And this is how you create your files. You can create one, you can create multiple files, and then press enter. Then do an ls. Then you can do an ls slash or, you know, hyphen ll. And this shows you your files. All right. If you want to remove a file, then you can remove them one at a time. You just hit the RM space and then the file name. Okay. We're going to remove file two. Let's see if it lets us do it. Okay. And we have removed file two. All right. That's how you remove a file. Now, if we want to remove a folder, let's go ahead and get out of the downloads folder. CD, change directories, dot, dot, and then you're out of that folder. So, to remove, let's, we're going to remove the download folder, right? So, to remove the download folder, we just hit the RM space minus R. R F space download right now you have to use the R F folder which stands for remove force I forget the actual name for it but that's what I'm gonna call it you have to use that because if there's something in the folder um, it usually won't let you just use the remove command so you have to use the re remove force command and then you just press enter all right, and we do an L ls, and the download folder has been removed, All right? So let's go ahead and clear the screen. So other than that, if you want to log out of the computer, the best way to do that is to use the power off command. So it, be, it would just be sudo space, because this requires root rights, power off. Okay, you do that and uh, press enter. It's going to ask for your password, then it'll power off. If instead of powering off, you want to reboot it, you just do the sudo reboot. And that will reboot your machine after you uh, put in your password. Okay, so those are some other ways of navigating through your uh, Linux uh, Ubuntu server. And uh, let's see here. Oh, let's also talk about how to install um, uh, some packages. Um, so to install uh, software on your server, you usually want to use the app command. Okay, that's your package manager, and that's the, what you use to install packages. So let's go ahead and install a package. Let's uh, do a sudo space at space install space minus y the minus y is the flag that we can use so it'll go ahead and download it as a matter of fact let me show you what happens when you don't use the the minus y it's no big deal it's just that you'll see what happens in a minute we're going to install the package called landscape dash 
common. All right, and then we press enter, and as you'll see, it'll prompt to ask you if you want to come, uh, if you're sure you want to install this package. So press enter, put in your password, and then press enter again. Oh, okay, that's right. I already installed it earlier. And then from there, uh, to use the command, this is uh, landscape. I think you got to use sudo rights for it. sudo landscape dash and then sys info. This will show you basic uh, information about your system. So you press enter. And as you can see, it shows you similar to what happened during the message of the day, right? So it shows processes, system loads, uh, the usage, file usage, memory usage, swap use usage, and your IP address. Okay? So let me see if there's something else we can install. Um, oh, I know something we can install. Hold on one second. Let me make sure this isn't installed. Oh, okay, it is installed. You can also type in the command NeoFetch, and this will also show you some system information. As you can see, this shows that uh, we're running this server off of a um, off of a virtual box. It's a virtual machine. We are running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, and you can see the rest of the information as well. And so let's just go ahead and clear the screen. Oh, and okay, here's one. Let's go ahead and install a tool that you will find very useful from time to time called Nmap. It's a network mapper. So you go ahead and type in the command. If you want to install it from the uh, repositories, you can install it through the command sudo, oops, apt install minus y in map and then you just press enter if you've recently used the sudo command to, with the password it won't prompt you for another five minutes alright anyway we went ahead and we installed nmap to see if we have nmap in after installation you just type in oh wait a minute let me get us some screen real estate all right, so you type in where is nmap, and it'll tell you if you got it in your system or not. And we do have it. It was a successful install. You can also type in which nmap. Okay, and that, from there, it shows that we do have nmap installed. And like I said, nmap is a network uh, mapper. Um, you can use it for many things. I usually use it for um, scanning my ports to see which ports are open. It does basically the same, same, same thing as the SS command, except it does it in a little more, um, in, a, in what I feel is a better uh, format. But it also does a lot, whole lot more things than just do that. But to run the command, you need to either have root rights, pseudo rights, or logged in as root. Um, and to run the command is sudo space in map space minus s small s large s for stealth and then small s large s for for both and then you type in your IP address which for us is 192.168 oops 8 one dot twenty seven okay and then from there you press enter it'll do a scan and it shows you what ports are open here's the port number here's the state as you can see is open here's the service that that port is running off of which is SSH and then here's the version which is uh, open SSH yada 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 okay so that's about it that's how we go ahead and um, and and we uh, that's how you can go ahead and navigate through your uh, Ubuntu server, all right. And like I said, if you want to go ahead and uh, 
uh, power off the machine or reboot the machine. It's just sudo and then the command you want. All right, we're just going to power off. And then it's going to ask me from, it may ask me from password. It may, I may, um, it may not prompt me for the password. But once you just press enter, yeah, it went ahead and it turned it off and it closed the connection. Okay, so thank you very much. I just wanted to show you that. I appreciate you guys looking at my video. Uh, this video will be uploaded both on Facebook and YouTube. Um, all applicable uh, links will be included in the description. Thank you very much. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night. You have a good day. Bye-bye.